This is the dynamic search bar which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. Whenever we have to search any data, we will just put company name or first letter over here. I'll put W and I'll hit enter. As soon as I pressed enter, I got all the details along with the heads. If I change it, I'll do it C, enter. I got all the details of the company name, which is from C. I'll put W over here once again, enter. When I check my data, I have got two companies by the name of W. One is Wetrose and one is Walmart. So I'll go to my search sheet once again and over here I'll put WA for Walmart and I'll hit enter. So I got all the details of Walmart. In this format, there will be total two sheets. First will be data sheet where we are going to put all our data and second will be search sheet which we have discussed right now. I haven't used any macros or VBA in this format. Let's start creating a new format now. I have opened a new workbook. We'll rename the sheet as data. We'll select the whole sheet and we'll align all the things in mid. We'll take column A closer. We'll click on B2. This will be helper, company name, products, rate, quantity, amount, tax, total. We'll select the whole row and we'll align all the things in center. We'll change the font style. We'll adjust the column size. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to home, conditional formatting. From here, we will go to new rule. We'll click on the drop down and we'll select classic. In case you are using windows, you'll not be getting the option of classic. You'll be diverted to next step. And that might be anything from the list. And we have to select only format cells that contain. Now we will click on the drop down and we'll select no blanks. We'll click on drop down, customize format. Over here, we get many options like number, font, border, and fill. We will go to border and we'll click on center means outline and we'll do okay. Okay. So whenever there will be any text, borders will be applied automatically. If I type one over here, borders got inserted. I'll undo this. We will create duplicate of this sheet. We'll click on the sheet. We'll right click the mouse, move or copy, move to end, create a copy. Okay. We'll rename the sheet as search sheet. We'll delete all the things right now. I have created the copy just because of conditional formatting, which I have used right now to create the borders. We'll increase size of row number two. We'll highlight all the heads. We'll put some desired color. We'll change the font color. For helper, I'll put red color. We'll change the font color. I'll take company name and products from my example file. We'll click on first company name and we'll select product also. We'll press shift control down arrow key and the data will be selected till bottom. We'll copy this control C or command C. We'll go to my new format or blank format and we'll paste over here control V or command V. We'll adjust the column size helper. Helper will be plus or equal to company name and we'll put count if bracket open range. Range will be first company name and that is C3. We'll press F4 or function F4 and the cell will be logged. Is2, we'll select first company name once again. Comma, we'll select first company name once again, means three times total. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So our helper is ready now. We'll drag this down or we can double click on the edge. So borders are getting inserted automatically. Rate and quantity. In rate and quantity, I'll take some random figures. And to take random figures, I'll use rand between. The formula will be plus or equal to rand between bracket open bottom. I'll take bottom figure as 15 and top figure as 300. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So I got my first rate quantity. I'll drag it over here. We'll go to formula bar and we'll change the bottom figure and top figure. Bottom figure I'll do as 100 and top figure I'll do as 500 and we'll hit enter. Now I'll select both and we'll drag it down. We'll copy this control C or command C and we'll paste here as values, paste special values. So my formula of rand between got removed and I got all the random figures. Amount formula will be plus or equal to rate into quantity. Enter. We'll select this from top and we'll align all the things in center. 
tax. Tax might be anything. I'll put over here 5%. This is just random. Enter. So tax will be plus or equal to amount into tax percent. We will have to lock this cell. So I'll press F4 or function F4 and the cell got locked. We'll hit enter. Total. Total will be plus amount plus tax and we'll hit enter. We'll select all three. We'll double click on the edge and all the figures got filled. And borders also got inserted automatically. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. In case you want to hide this, you can. We'll click on the company's name. We'll go to view and we'll freeze the panes. So all our data is ready now and the data is really vast. Now I'll copy all the heads except helper. Means we will copy from company name till total. We'll press Ctrl C or Command C. We'll go to my search sheet. We'll click on C6. And we'll paste over here Control v or command v we'll increase the row size we'll click just before company name this will be helper enter now i'll click on company name we'll go to home in left hand side we get the option of format painter i'll click over here and this cell got selected now i'll click on helper so all the formats got changed i'll change the color and we'll do as red in helper we will just type digits from one We'll drag it down. You can put the numbers as per your requirement. Fill series. We will go on top. Currently helper is not required. So I'll hide this right now. Hide. Now we will click on C3. This will be search. Enter. We'll increase the row size. We'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. We'll align all the things in center. We'll select D and E and we'll merge this together. We will increase size of column number D because we will put our products over here. Over here, we will create borders manually because sometimes it may be blank. If it will not be blank, borders will be inserted automatically. So let's insert all borders. Now we will delete this. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll increase the font size. Over here also, we will change the color. We'll change the font color and we'll increase the font size. Perfect. Now we will copy this. Control C or Command C, we'll click just under search, we'll right click the mouse, paste special, values, we'll click on company name and we'll select all the heads, we'll delete this and over here we will put one formula, plus or equal to if bracket open, search is not equal to, for not equal to we will put smaller than greater than, not equal to blank, for blank we will put double inverted comma twice, if this will not be blank, we want company name over here. So I'll select the head comma. If it will be blank, I want blank in return. So I'll put double inverted comma twice once again. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We haven't got anything over here. We'll go to formula bar once again and we'll freeze the cell. So we'll press function F4. Enter. Now I'll drag this till end. Perfect. Now we can hide this. Now, whenever I'll put anything over here, all the heads will be visible. We will put one more criteria over here. We'll select all the heads. We'll go to home, conditional formatting, new rule. From here, we will select classic. And from the drop down, we will select use a formula to determine which says to format. And the formula will be plus or equal to this, not equal to, for not equal to, we will put smaller than greater than, not equal to blank. For blank, we will put double inverted comma twice. If this will not be blank, then only we want color. So we'll go to customized format, fill. From here, I'll select blue color and font will be white. And we'll do OK. OK. Now we will remove color from here. Now, whenever something will be typed over here or inserted over here, heads will be visible. Only company name is visible. Rest of the heads are not visible. Let's cross check our formula. We'll remove dollar from here, means we will unlock this cell and we'll lock D3, means search head. We'll press function F4, enter. Now we will drag this till end. Now if this will be blank, nothing will be visible. And if some figure will be here, all the heads will be visible automatically. We'll take this closer. Now we will insert our formulas. So I'll unhide this. We'll click just on top of quantity and the formula will be plus or equal to VLOOKUP 
bracket open, look up value. We will use wildcard over here. So I'll put double inverted comma, star, double inverted comma, close, and we'll click over here. From here, we are going to search our items. And double inverted comma, star, double inverted comma, close, comma, we'll go to our data sheet. And we'll select from helper till total. Means we will select all the data. We'll press function F4 or F4 and the whole range will be logged, comma. We want company name. So we started VLOOKUP selection from helper. So this will be one, company name will be two. So I'll type two over here, comma zero for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we got the company name. Now we will insert our formulas over here. Plus or equal to VLOOKUP, bracket open, lookup value. We will take two lookup values over here. First will be company name. We will freeze this by pressing F4 or function F4. And second lookup value will be helper. We are not going to lock this. Comma, table RA. We will go to our data sheet and we select all the data from helper till total. We'll press function F4 or F4 and the whole range will be logged. Comma, column index number. We are not going to insert column index numbers manually. So I'll use function of column over here. So I'll put columns, bracket open, we'll go to my search sheet and we'll click on top of helper. We'll press function F4 or F4 and the cell will be logged. H2, we'll click on next cell. We'll close the bracket, comma, zero for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So I got company name over here. We will put two more criteria over here. First will be of if error and second will be of if. So I'll put if error bracket open will come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll click over here once again. We'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if. If bracket open D3 means from where we are going to search our items. We'll press function F4 and the cell will be locked is equal to blank, for blank I'll put double inverted comma twice, comma, if this will be blank, in return I want blank, so I'll put double inverted comma twice once again, comma, we'll come to the end, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter, so if this will be blank, nothing should be visible over here, if I'll delete this, nothing is visible, I'll undo this, or let me delete this, enter, we got company details, now we will drag this to right. We'll align all the things in center. We'll drag this down. We'll go on top. We'll align products name in left. Perfect. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. Now we will click over here. We'll go to home and we'll change the font color as white. So nothing will be visible. We'll remove conditional formatting from here to remove the lines. Conditional formatting, clear rules from selected cells. Perfect. We'll hide helper column. Hide. Now, whenever I change company name, enter, we got all the details of other company. If I'll do this, WA, enter, we got all the details of Walmart. If I'll type PA over here, enter, we got all the details of Panda. So this format is ready now. I'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download, you can. But the download option is only for channel members. You can join the channel membership from the link provided in description box. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.